Hey guys, it's Renee. So I bought this LED slash UV lamp off of Amazon. It's from this brand and I thought I'd share the review with you. So this part I recorded with my iPhone. This is why the uh, clip looks like that, but um, yeah, I forgot to like flip it. So it comes in a box like everything else. And I just went on Amazon and I just uh, typed in, you know, best LED lamp. And this was like the first option that I got. It was an Amazon choice. I read a couple of reviews there and they were all positive. It comes with a tray, comes with a plugin, which I appreciated because my last one, it was okay. This one was a kit from like Red Carp Manicure and it was kind of like a basic one. It worked, but it was like for beginners really, just had one option. But that one broke and that's why I got this one. So this is what this one looks like. It's really pretty. It looks like a professional in my opinion. And this is what it looks like, like from the inside of it. So once you plug it in, you turn it on and this is what it looks like. In this one, as you can see, the power switches in between 24 and 48 watts. 24, which is this one and 48, which is this one. I think the 24 is for more sensitive skin from what I understand. I honestly never touched the 48 one. I just stick to the 24 one. And then you have like the option of like five seconds, 30 seconds and 60 seconds. When you turn it on, it has like this sensor. If you put your hand in there, you don't need to push anything, the light will turn on. As I mentioned before, I used to have the red carpet kit, but I, I kept a lot of like tools. It came with a cleanser. This is a purify one. Use it before and after. Then use the primer, which is a prep in this uh, brand. Base coat, which is called Structure in this brand. LED nail gel polish, which is pretty much the only one that I've tried so far. And it's cozy, is the new chic, a top coat. In this case, it's called like Brilliance from this brand. And no matter what brand of tools you're using, they work pretty much with this lamp. Do you get the instructions? So the first thing that I do is file and shape the edges, taking first my uh, cuticle tool, and I'm just gonna be pushing my cuticles a bit. They actually don't go that far down, to be honest. But yeah, I'm just gonna be filing my nails and I'm working over a towel and then I'm gonna clean my hands. And the second step is using the cleanser. So I'm pretty much following the instructions and I'm showing you how I do it. And I'm using a cotton pad as you can see, but it absorbs a lot of product. I prefer wipes a lot more, but I ran out of them. Then you apply the gel primer and this is kind of like a big deal because everything you do on top of it is going to adhere better. Then it's time for the base coat. I'm going to be applying a thin coat, cure it for 30 seconds. This is how I apply this. And to be honest, I find that manicures last longer if I start the application as far from the cuticle area as I can because if you go too close, once the nail starts to grow, it's easier to peel the money off. And it's a mess because it gets stuck in the hair. Plus, I think it looks cleaner to do it this way, just avoiding it from looking like an old manicure that needs uh, to be freshened up. Making sure that I press 30 seconds and when the lamp stops, it doesn't beep or anything, the light just turns off. Then I'm just going to be working on the color itself and you cure it for 60 seconds. And so I do two layers of this, thin layers of it. And this is where I like to just take more time really because this is just the most noticeable part of the whole thing, just the color in your nails. So I like to apply one thin coat, cure it for uh, 60 seconds, I apply another thin coat, cure it for another 60 seconds. And sometimes I even need a third coat, depending on how uh, sheer this is, because this one is kind of like sheerish, but some colors you just need one coat. Just make sure though, you uh, press 60 seconds this time. And once the lamp is done, the light goes off, but the time is still the same. The final step is apply, well, in this case, they from this brand, I guess, they have like the base and the top coat in one, but I have like separate ones. So I'm just gonna be using the top coat and cure it for 30 seconds. Think coat of this one as well. Make sure that I cover the edges as well. I didn't show it here, but I did that. And yeah, I'm just gonna be switching back to 30 seconds. Final step, you just cleanse. You need this to get rid of like the stickiness of it. It comes with some like tips and tricks if you wanna pause it right here so you can check them out. The lamp, as long as it's plugged in, is going to be turned on. The cool thing about this lamp though is that you can fit, if you want to, the entire hand, which is kinda handy, that's what I do. And yeah, I really recommend this one. It's like $20. It's kinda heavy, I'm not gonna like. I'm just going to link the, like, the store where I bought it from below so you can check those things out. It feels like professional, like it's gonna last a long time hopefully it will i feel more professional when i use this one than when i use the other one the other one it was okay but it felt kind of basic to be honest it got me started in the right like track 
and you can do pedicures as well with this one i think that's why it comes with a tray i really recommend this one i really hope this was helpful and you liked it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more reviews that i have on my channel and nail care stuff subscribe for more but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye